Hey everyone, Angelo here and welcome to another design tutorial. Today we're going to discuss how to digitally enhance your Adobe InDesign layouts. We're going to be working in a completely different workspace. So you're probably used to working in Essentials workspace. We're going to switch gears today and I'm going to take you through the digital publishing workspace that allows you to add simple animations to your layouts that uh, if you're making a ebook, an online magazine, if you're enhancing your personal portfolio or your resume, um, this is a good way of doing it and it just adds a nice little touch. Um, so let's get started. As you can see here on my screen, it's just a simple uh, layout. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add an animation to this fictional Sarah Anderson who I've created um, as, a, as an artist, a, a musical R&B singer. So we're going to make her fly out from the bottom of the page and I'm also going to make her name fade in. So it's kind of a seamless pattern where she comes in, her name appears and it's just a little uh, nice touch element to your design if you're displaying it on a digital platform. Okay. So let's, let's start with this. So the first thing you want to do is go up to your right hand uh, uh, control bar up here. And by default, your control bar or your workspace, um, it will default as essentials. So change it to digital publishing for what we're doing today. So I do already have it set to digital publishing. With my selection tool, I'm going to select my main image of my uh, subject here. I'm going to click her and I'm going to go up to animation. Okay. This should show up when you switch your workspace. You can see my tools are quite different from the standard essentials um, flyout panels here. So we do want animation and when I click on my um, main image, you can see the name of my file singer.psd appears. Okay, so under the preset, these are kind of the ones that you can uh, select from. So for today, I'm just going to show you how to have her fly in from the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And you see this little preview up here? It shows this little butterfly icon. It shows you how it would appear on the page, okay? Um, you can ha you have some other settings here, the duration of how, how you, long you want this to play, uh, how many times you'd like it to play, you can loop it. But for today, I just wanna, I wanna keep everything at one and keep everything at basic for you, okay? As you can see, my, my image here, there's an arrow um, that is displayed in my image that's showing me that this is going to fly in from the bottom of the page when I am ready to, um, when I'm finished that. So, but you can preview it, okay? So over here in the bottom left-hand corner, there's something called Preview Spread EPUB. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And that's how it would look like, okay? So I have her popping in from the bottom. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, but a nice little touch, especially for uh, a digital presentation. This is good as if you're an instructor, if you're a teacher and you have a slideshow that you could uh, put together something a little bit more enhanced. So let's close that. Next thing I wanna do, so we that's set. My image is now gonna pop in from the bottom. Let's click her name, Sarah Anderson. And from the presets this time, I want it to fade in. So I'm gonna have her pop in or fly in from the bottom and I'm gonna have her name fade in. So let's do that. And there's my preview. That's what it would look like. Okay, so if I hit, let's preview that. So there she is and there's her name. Okay, as you've noticed, they're playing separately. Okay, so if I hit play, watch that again, she comes in and then her name appears, which if that's what you're going for, hey, that's that's fine too. So to set your, if, if that was it, you'd, you'd be done. So that's set to, um, to fade in and that's set to fly in from the bottom. But let's go to that, that, now that you have that set, let's go to timing. So animation, you can put that back and then click timing 
which is right underneath. And if you notice here, there's my singer and there's my, uh, the name, Sarah Anderson. So you could set a delay on uh, when you want that, that specific object to appear. But let's just say I want them to play simultaneously. I'm gonna click on singer, hold down the command key and click on Sarah Anderson. And notice here, there's a little play button with a link that says play together. Let's go ahead and click that. And now these will play together and I can preview it. As you can see, they played together. Okay, so I could play that if you missed it. The cool thing about this is let's just say I click Sarah Anderson and I want the name to appear just slightly after, not too far along, but I just increased the de delay to 0 0.25 seconds and then I'll play that again. Let's try a little bit more. So you can see there's a delay there, but they play simultaneously and they play together. Okay. So if that was it and you were done and you were happy, um, there's other things that you can do in this, but I really wanted to focus on the animation and timing. Maybe in another tutorial, I'll focus on creating buttons and hyperlinking. Um, but let's just say I was done with this. I could now go up to publish online. I'll just leave it digital test. And I just want to publish the one page because I have multiple pages in this document. So you would just hit range and then uh, select page one and then hit OK. And let's see what happens here. <clears throat> I'm going to view my document. You could share it on Facebook, Twitter. So there it is. Now it's hosted on an Adobe uh, hosting website. But what you could do is share it from here. Again, you could email it. You could also embed it. So if I go into the bottom right hand corner here, there's three dots. I can click embed. You could take the code and maybe put it on your, your web website. You could change the size of it. So that's a very simple way and a really cool way of enhancing your Adobe InDesign layouts to make them a little bit more um, uh, enhanced digitally. Okay, so that's it for today's tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.